Yeah, right. In your dreams. No, in reality. You know what? Why don't you go get this so-called witness and go to the police? Why would I burn down this house when I want it? I'm gone, and you get the insurance money. Do, 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 do. You're not driving. Watch me. I'll leave as soon as I get my coin collection and my mother's ring that happens to be on your finger. You have to cut it off. Okay. If you insist. Science has proven that my glass has to be full of whiskey and emptied four times a night. Why no weirdo? Why don't you drink something else other than that sissy ass fruit juice? 4.5 ounces per day is best for you, ticker. That shit will eat a hole when you got. Weirdo Wino says this particular Cabernet has maximum oxygens. God help him. Antioxidants. Don't you pay attention to the health news? I stand corrected. Antioxidants. You're so full of shit. I'm very regular, thank you. Can you just pour a damn glass of wine without all the hoopla? Too much alcohol causes dementia. But it's too late for you two wiener heads. Why are you always worried about catching some disease? One day you're playing cards and the next day you're a pile of dirt. And some dog taking a piss on you. Death? Man, it's definitely in your future. Whenever it happens. Hopefully 100 years from now. Oh, so you're going to live to be uh, 149? You live in a garbage dump. Why are you so worried about what you eat? You know what I heard on the news the other day? Both of you are big buttholes. Can you play a card? I got the time. Yes, yes, I got the tools. I got everything. I'll be there at 5.30, round the dock. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, text me your address. All right, bye. you anymore and my soon-to-be ex creep says you've got to go ash likes me he hired me and you cannot fire me ash is dead at least in my mind and of course you're fired no i need to get in there and do my cleaning like i always do. listen to me bitch you are fired you can't work if you're fired that's what fired means! I know what fired means. I have to have this job. Where is your freaking husband? That's what I'm saying. The jerk says I can't have a house cleaner unless I pay, and I don't have any money to pay. Maybe after I divorce that stinking pile of cow dung, I'll have more money to pay. Does he know all the crap that you're saying behind his back? Hi, Dora. I have other things to do besides pound into your head that you're fired. This is not the end of this. Yes, it is. This is not the end. Bitch. This is not the end. I'll be back. Sorry, I'm Modesty. You must be Tom from Thomas the Garden Guy. It's Thomas. Thomas the Garden Doctor. Tell me about yourself. Are you a doctor of botany or... No, I'm not a real doctor. It's just a name. I did go to college. What did you study? Plants. Agriculture. 
philosophy, botany and stuff. Do you have a degree in horticulture? Or? Asshole professor jerk wouldn't let me take any more chemistry. He wouldn't let you take any more chemistry? He told my advisor to get me out of the course. He said I was going to blow up the universe. It's a little scary. So you have any kind of license? Yeah, I have state license for landscaping. Where are you from? Farmer, South Carolina. I thought you were from the South. I'm pretty good at that. Cool. Okay, well, Thomas, the garden doctor, I'll show you the job. Rocks neatly placed. Rubbish here, rubbish there, rubbish everywhere. I don't want to ever see it again. Shrubbery neatly groomed. Weeds cleared. Rake sweep trim. Don't ask for money until the job is complete. My father's rule, and it has always worked. Probably a good rule. It's simple. Simple Simon for me. Are you sure you can do it? Of course I can do it. That much bigger job. My friends are throwing me a soon-to-be-divorce party next Saturday. Of course I can do it. I'll be here every day after five. What do you do before five? I work at Harvey's Hardware and Garden. I'm the head gardener there. How are you going to finish my job in seven days if you're only going to do it part-time? I work at night with lights. I use them all the time. Night? Is working at night a problem? Just don't let me down. Your friends will be very impressed. I promise. So if you do a really good job, I'll give you the maintenance job to do every week. Cool. This is going to be my very own special house. It looks like a nice place to hang out. Why'd you let it get like this? My husband, soon to be ex, is a pretty useless creature. Well, I'm a very useful creature. Good, so you'll be here every afternoon and every night. Every night but two nights. That's when I play cards with the boys. I don't care when you work, as long as you get the job done. It'll be done in seven days or less. Yes, I can work after midnight if I have to. Okay, please clean up the front first. The front first, no problem. I overheard you talking to that woman. You got the money to pay me? Yes, of course. I had to get rid of Dora. She, as you probably noticed, is pretty hard-headed and obviously very hard to fire. So don't worry, I have the money. Okay. Let me know if you need something to drink or a snack. Do you have any tea? Lemon? Sugar? Straight. It's better for you. No sugar? Sugar interferes with the antioxidants. Can you put it in three bags? You like it strong. You don't happen to have organic tea, do you? Sorry. Is this the place looking for a yard person or a handy person? So I was looking for a gardener, but she already hired me. Well, she called me this morning and told me that she needed somebody to clean up her yard. She called me this morning. She already hired me to clean up her yard. How'd you get here? I rode a bus. You rode a bus? How are you going to clean up a yard if you rode a bus? Don't worry about it. Yes? I'm Daisy, remember? You called me this morning about some yard work. Oh, wow. I didn't think anyone would show up. And now there's two of you here. You already hired me. I have great references, and I'm very, very fast. Well, you look like you'd be a good yard person. You called me and told me to come by. I called several people, but Thomas got here first. I just hired the first person who showed up. I didn't know it was a foot race. She doesn't even have a truck. She rides a bus. I use my brother's truck when I need it. A real gardener would have a truck. I'm not just a gardener. I do other things. I'm a handy woman. And she's wearing a dress. So what? I can work in a dress, but I'll probably wear pants if you give me the job. I'd like to see you do this job in a dress. She doesn't look all that strong, either. I'm a power lifter. Yeah, right. I would really like to hire a young lady. So you're going to hire her and fire me? I've already started. I can start first thing in the morning. And whatever you're paying him, I can do it for 10% less. I'm so sorry, but I've already hired Thomas. I'll keep your number for future jobs. Thanks for nothing.
So you're still doing it? And you expect me to continue being your wife? I'm so uptight? Enjoy? Your lifestyle has probably resulted in brain syphilis. Of course it's upsetting, moron. I want you to get the rest of your stuff out of my house. Oh, you want your computer? Hold on just a moment. At the moment, it's in the dishwasher. It had a lot of smut in it, so the cleaning will be good for it. That's freakish. Thomas, did you see him? When the clothes started hitting the floor, I had to look away. You gotta be shitting me. Looked away. Not a man in this country would look away from her bare hoots. I'm not gonna get caught looking at my client's hoots. Can you believe this guy? You look at your client's hoots if you got a chance. Look at a pair of good hoots. If she was your wife, you'd want me to check out her hoots. Hey. Don't talk about my wife's hoots. Your wife's also your aunt, right? And you won't look at them. You've got hooters all over your walls. But yet when you actually see a pair, you look away. This might be a permanent job for me, you ding bats. Enough extra money to pay my rent. She catches me, I'm toast. It's that thing lit. What am I supposed to do? You don't believe me. Don't you think it's kind of funny we talk about this crap with each other? We won't talk about it in front of a woman. That's because we're different animals. You need to read up on the difference between the two. They don't know we talk like this. Do you think that's weird? You're the freakiest guy I've ever met. Serves us broccoli and carrots and then closes his eyes when hooters come out. And chips. They have extra gluten added just for your butt. Low cholesterol, low taste chips. Oh. Mm. Ah, vodka cures it all. <laughs> you probably already had a heart attack weren't for my decent food. Have you ever taken a ride with this guy? I never had a record speeding ticket. I'm sure you and can't say that. he pays extra taxes each year. But just that a moral man would pay more taxes than the immoral man. I rest my case. Pluto? Who the hell is that? I'm sure you'll go to heaven. If he ever dies. He never lived. He's the most sophisticated yard man I've ever known. Sophisticated gardener. A sophisticated, afraid of dying gardener. I won't even look at Hooters. I look at Hooters, but not my clients. Your sister's always trying to show me hers. Out of respect for you, I look away. Hey, watch it. How many years were you in college? I got an associate's degree in philosophy. Philosophy. Who ever heard of anybody studying that bullshit? I'm not sure why I hang out with such bags of hot air. You hang out with us because we're the only excitement in your empty life. You hang out with me for free vodka and liquor. Because it helps your menstrual cramps. Booze better be free if I got to put up with your freaking ass. Do me a favor. The next time your client strips, take a picture for me. You don't have to look. Just snap the picture. Play a damn card. working here tonight, as I told you. Maybe after midnight, you can't ever tell. Are you sure you're gonna finish by yes, Saturday? Yes, of course I'm gonna finish. I told you I play cards with the boys two nights a week. So I'm expecting perfection by Saturday. Do you need anything? That plant's fake. I know it's fake. You got any tea? Sure. Three bags, right? You said they're not organic, right? Next time I shop, I'll look for the organic stuff. Cool.
Good afternoon, Miss Divine. You are Miss Divine? Who wants to know? My name is Tim Angel, and I'm an attorney. An attorney with the name Angel? Come on, you've got to be kidding. It is true, believe it or not. Some of us are angels. Hey, big deal, your name is Angel. Now, what is it you want? I'm here legally representing your husband, Ash Devine. Oh, so you're one of those creeps trying to help jerk face screw me over. You know what I think? Well, do you? I give up. Tell me, what do you think? I think you're all a bunch of cold-blooded reptiles. I'm so sorry you feel like that, Miss Divine. But think about this. All your husband's wealth is the result of his hard work, right? You're so full of it, just like the rest of the group. No, that's not right. This agreement allows you to get something that's not rightfully yours. I've got a suggestion. You go sleep with the perverted creep and then get back to me. I bet you change your mind about who should rightfully get this house. I think I'll pass on that proposition. But sleeping with someone is not really an entitlement to taking his wealth. What are you messing with her for? <coughs> Excuse me, and who the hell are you? I'm the gardener. And, and what? Respecting my privacy? I'm your mother. So? So for 20 years you came into my house without knocking. Most children enter their parents' house without knocking. Do you really care? Yes, I care. Most people consider me a full-blown grown-up. Some wine, please. Why is it so hot in here? Are you complaining? The cooler is broken. Can't you call somebody? No, I didn't think of that. Thanks. What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Oh, not much. My entire life is hurling through out of space, out of control. I've been through this, honey. My last husband dumped me for a girl, and I emphasize girl. Forty years younger, and left me with nothing. I'm trying to avoid the highway of horrors you took, mother. And here I am at 40, alone once again, and brawling in the mud with my soon-to-be ex. Don't talk to me about being alone at your age. I'm alone at my age. You're alone because you kept having affairs on all your husbands. Because they were all jerks. At least your husband's a rich jerk. If you play your cards right, a few marriages can make you rich. And whatever you do, hang on to this house. And proverbial hell will freeze over before I go back into that tiny apartment. At your age, you can whip out a few more marriages. The mirror's not lying to me. Some of the dudes still give me the old eye. Who knows? I might go for number seven. I still have a little gas in my tank. You're full of gas. So you're going to marry another one? I recently met Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. So there may be wedding bells next spring. Then I'll have almost enough stepdads for a soccer team. You don't happen to have an extra two or three hundred dollars, do you? Does everybody think I'm the third national bank? No, no, I don't have any extra money. Remember, I'll soon be a divorcee. Well, you're not divorced yet. I'd hang on, no matter what. There's nothing to hang on to. He's a swinger, and he doesn't want to give it up. You were going to give me those diamond earrings. Thanks for being so sensitive, Mother. Yeah, I guess I did say that. I'd really like to pick them up tonight so that I could wear them out to dinner tomorrow night with Hal. And I don't want Ash's greedy little fingers to pick them up and put them in his pocket. Oh, so Hal is going to be the name of my new father? There's a good chance. You've already married a Hal. I guess I like the name Hal. Can you please get me those diamond earrings? Okay, okay, I'll get them. But don't you dare lose them when you've divorced Hal.
are you, perv? Good God! Stop! Uh, perv! That hurts! Uh, stop! Hit stop! Me. stop. Him what are you the doing? Window. Good He's gosh! the yard man! Just shut! The yard man working through shut. the middle of the night? Are you okay, Tom? You're hitting really hard! Sorry. You should have told me there was somebody out there in the middle of the night. You should have asked me before you assaulted him. Hey! This is not your house to just walk into. Ash, it's so good to see you again. Hi, Miss Fabia. Of course it's my house. I am so glad you came. Mother! <laughs> yes. It's really nice to see you too, Miss Fabia. Look at these beautiful diamonds. Those are nice. Those look like our diamonds. My diamonds. They were never your diamonds. Again, it's really good to see you too, Miss Fabia. Time for both of you to go. I'm only here to pick up my computer. Oh, excuse me. I haven't taken it out of the dishwasher. Better not be serious. I'm amazed at how clean it got. No fingerprints at all. Still drips a little if you move it around. My taxes, my passwords, everything was on this computer! I didn't take them out. I'm sure they're still in there. Now that you have your computer, it's time to say goodbye. When the mood strikes me! Could be a few minutes or a few days! This is my house and you're not welcome. Maybe you need a sheriff escort. It's pretty hard to make an arrest being in my own home. We'll see about that. Oh, we'll definitely see about that. So what else have you destroyed? You'd be very surprised. Oops, pardon me. Must have slipped right through my hands. Now you are vandalizing and I am gonna call the sheriff. She must have her father's personality. I've always liked you. Why don't you two get a room? And I don't think she even knows who my father is. So who knows who I took after? Well, you should be more loving and respectful to your mother. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening, Miss Fabia. Sorry about the vase. I guess accidents do happen. woman still here again I apologize you seem safe enough come on in for a minute don't let anybody else attack me it won't happen again are you finished like I said this afternoon is probably gonna take till Saturday I know it'll be done I hope so I can work around the clock if I have to you want to check my work I just took a shower I'll check it in the morning you want a treat? Treat? Tea or cookies? Like I said, I don't do sugar. I'll take a couple carrot sticks if you got any. Tea with three bags and some carrots? Are the carrots organic? I don't think so. I'll just skip the carrots. Tea, no carrots. It's kind of hot in here. You are telling me. My underclothes were wet with sweat before my shower. If you do a really good job on my yard and finish by Saturday, you've got the job permanently. Cool. And I promise to always have organic tea and organic carrots. You'll love my work. This house is going to be legally mine after the divorce. Cool. I'm going to keep it looking like a perfect polished dollhouse. So I had to take my pajamas off last night to fall asleep. You don't happen to know anything about air conditioners, do you? Yeah, a little. Any ideas what might be wrong? I'm pretty sure there's a filter you gotta change. I know that much. I've already done that. Could be a circuit breaker. My hunch is not that. But feel free to check. Come in! 
on. Did it come on? Does it look like it came on? I can fix it. You know I'm here. You don't have to tell me that. I don't care if you come noon or night. Just a sec. I have a treat for you. Cool. Thanks a bunch. And they're a hundred percent organic. Usually people just ignore me when I say organic. You seem very healthy. I hope so. Why are you so worried about your food and health? I don't know. Born like that, I guess. I really don't like the thought of dying. Well, you'll have to do it someday, no matter how organic you are. I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> What are you doing out here? What the hell? Is that a gun? Of course it's a gun. What are you doing with Modesty's wheelbarrow? It's my wheelbarrow. I'm the gardener. Go ask her if you don't believe me. She better be okay. What's that supposed to mean? Of course she's okay. I'm going to check on you tomorrow. Are you nuts? Got it. Tomorrow. Some crazy woman just threatened to shoot me. Oh, that was probably Sylvia. She's kind of the neighborhood guard dog. Pay her no attention. Pay her no attention? You need to go talk to her and tell her I'm out here working. I don't think she ever shot anyone. And I don't think her gun is even loaded. <laughs> Damn it. She did it again. Did what? Started taking her clothes off with the blinds open. So you saw him? He still looked away. I saw some wild dancing. Then I almost got shot by her neighbor. If I saw you at night in my yard, I'd probably shoot your ass too. Let me give you a little fun fact. Women are exhibitionists by nature. What do you think women walk around half naked in high heels in a snowstorm? I never saw a woman in high heels in a snowstorm. How can you be such an old man and know so little about women? I've seen a lot of women, none of them had high heels on in a snowstorm. It's always a show for the man. They flash their eyes, shake their bum. It's all a little dance. It's always a show if she likes the way you look. 
That's why I can't believe that she's putting on a show for him. You are a man. Go over there and make sure this guy has at least one ball. I have balls. You check. Nobody's gonna check you wiener heads. Take my word, there's monsters down there. Have you ever had a real girlfriend? I've had tons of girlfriends. Have you even seen a naked woman? Seen a lot of naked women. I'm not talking about women on the internet. I saw your mama's. Her name is Sweaty Betty, right? She had tiny little hooters. I don't see how you survive babyhood nibbling on those little things. Every time we come here, it's like being in the fourth grade. I saw your mother, too. She asked me to shave her back. A 49-year-old virgin landscaper who won't even look at a naked woman. Gardener. Gardener, who has plastic plants in his apartment, who won't even look at a naked woman. Have you ever been to a Hooter bar? Big waste of money. He's never seen a naked woman. I've been married, you doofus. That doesn't mean you've seen a naked woman. You know what I heard? That when she started taking off her clothes, you looked away. I watched her take showers and dress and everything else. I heard she filed for a divorce during the honeymoon. She must have gotten tired of whipping your candy ass, so she left you. Just because your wife whips your butt doesn't have anything to do with me. Do you know what I really think? I don't want to know what you really think. I think your client wants you to make a move. With him? What kind of move? She may be trying to seduce you. Why do you think she'd do it? That's a really good question. She knows you're out there, and she still puts on a show. They don't dance for everyone, so maybe she does see something in that doofus ass. She must be the only person on this planet who sees something. I always feel real good about myself after talking to y'all. I tell you again, women are not like us. I figured that out in preschool. Well, maybe you're right. I mean, her blinds are open every night. Then she puts on this show. Then she brings me tea and organics. See? You know, maybe women are starting to go for me. Women. I don't think she has any kids. Maybe she wants a baby. You never know for sure about that baby thing. His baby? <laughs> hey. Organic. Cool. And organic veggies. You give me the best service of any of my clients. You look a little more dressed up today. Harvey kept me busy right up to five. I didn't have time to change. So did you want something? Just to let you know I'm here. I'll be working on the moonlight again. Okay, Thomas, the midnight gardener. Again, you don't have to tell me when you come or when you leave. I think she really does like me. I can't believe a woman with a face like that's into me. As long as you're finished by Saturday afternoon, everything's kosher. This supposed to be much more than kosher by Saturday. Great. I really do appreciate your hard work. This kind of work must keep you in shape. Oh, I never need to go to the gym. I'm pretty strong. You know, I might give you a nice tip on Saturday if the job is perfect. Great. So the bill now is a couple hundred smackaroos. OK. Sounds reasonable. Is there a question? I know you said you don't pay to the end. I sure would like to get 50 bucks. Sorry, but as I've told you, I have to stick to my father's rule. Pay when the job is done. It has always worked for me. It is ooh. Yeah, I guess that's probably a good rule. Was there anything else? Maybe we'll go out and have lunch sometime. I mean, I know this great organic place. Maybe. Maybe sometime we can do that. OK, great. Next Friday, I'm free. Maybe I can pick you up. I mean, I'm going through a divorce and too much on my plate to enjoy a lunch with a new friend. I know she likes me.
Hi, I'm James Heavenly. James Heavenly? Yes, I represent Ash Divine, your husband. What y'all keep messing with her for? Who the hell are you? I'm the gardener. Modesty? Honey boo.
You and I were made for laughter. You and I were made for fun. You and I were made for loving. Da 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 da. Oh my gosh! I didn't know you were here. What are you doing in my bathroom? That asshole was in here. He set a fire. Don't you smell the smoke? No, I don't smell smoke. Get out of my bathroom. I was afraid the house was going to burn down. Get out of my bathroom. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm leaving. Talk to me in the hallway. I drowned. I thought you were gone. I'm obviously here. I took a nap. Now I'm taking a bath with an audience. You didn't answer the door. I was expecting some tea. I was asleep. Now I'm very naked. Now would you mind going back outside? How on earth did you get in here? Through the window. Get back out of here. I'm sorry, I forgot. Go back outside. I'll talk to you when I'm finished. Okay, okay, I'm going. Hey. You can use the door now. Oh yeah, right. You gonna fire me? Am I gonna fire you? I've had many gardeners in my lifetime, and believe it or not, not a single one has watched me take a bath. At least not that I know of. I've had a lot of clients in my life. I've never seen any of them take a bath. I promise. But that asshole is gonna burn down your house. For me, the stress of taking a public bath is almost as bad as my house burning down. I didn't see anything. I swear I didn't see one thing. Well, thank goodness for that. Oh. Crap. Does this mean you're not going to accept my friend request? It's been more than 24 hours. Excuse me? On FB. Oh, that. If I accept. If I accept, you'd be the only friend I have who's watched me take a bath. You're kind of hung up on that bath thing, aren't you? You're damn right I'm hung up on that bath thing. Here. Thanks. Half full. Perfect. Makes it richer. I just want to say again, I'm sorry for coming in your bathroom. I just thought I had to come in. Then I heard some singing. Okay, okay. Come in a minute. I don't want the bugs flying in. All right. Do you have to bring those cutters in? Sorry. Is this going to interfere with us going out sometime? What? You know, we talked about going out when you get settled. No, we talked about that yesterday. You just entered my house through a window, observed me taking a bath, and now you want to make sure we go out sometime. I was going to ask you again before I saw you in the tub. Men are supposed to be persistent, aren't they? As I said yesterday, after the divorce is settled, we might have lunch someday. What is this for? Good night. Don't you change your mind about firing me? Let me think about it. Are you just playing around? Maybe, maybe not. You know I'm here. Okay. You have any tea? I'll bring it to you. Thanks. Just two bags. Sorry, I'll get you another bag. Okay. Did you call the cops? No. And please keep what you saw under your hat. For now. 
Okay. Let's just say it's leverage for the future. Okay. If you see him anywhere around here, you call me. Okay. Sounds like you're not going to fire me. And if you ever come near my bathroom again, you better be screaming bloody murder or there will be a murder. Hey, can I take your picture? Okay. Thanks. I was getting into bed. Hi. Hi. I'm going to cut these bushes over here beside the driveway, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. You know, you never did bring me that extra bag of tea. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. So you're not going to invite me in tonight? No. Like I said, I was going to bed. I'm very tired. I have no clue what you're talking about. You came into my house and tried to start a fire. How do you know all this? You weren't even here. See, you did come. Listen, I just stopped by because I needed a few things. You know what? Maybe you left the stove on. I didn't say anything about a stove. Or whatever you did. I stopped by. No one was here. I even yelled. I was in the tub. And you tried to burn down my house with me in you it. Know what? I was making some toast. And maybe I forgot. In a pot? There was paper scattered around the stove, according to a witness. A witness? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Maybe you need to become a better housekeeper. And I could still call the police. Why don't you? I'll make you a deal. I'll get my witness who saw the whole thing quiet if you sign over this house to me by Friday. Yeah, right. In your dreams. No, in reality. You know what? Why don't you go get this so-called witness? And go to the police. Why would I burn down this house when I want it? I didn't know you were in the house. I swear. So you admit it. Even though I feel like it, you know I wouldn't hurt you. I'm gone, and you get the insurance money. Problem solved. Listen, Goldilocks. You're living in another fairy tale. Listen, Goldilocks. You're living in a fairy tale, okay? Even if you did try to do away with me, the house is gone, I'm on the streets, and you get the insurance money. You and your gardener, the obvious witness, deserve an Oscar. You're totally bombed. You're not driving. Watch me. Give me that bottle. Mm, 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 mm. It's my wine, and I drink it all the time. Even when my ex-wife whines, and I love my wine. Do, 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 do. Okay. I'll leave as soon as I get my coin collection. Ah. And my mother's ring that happens to be on your finger. You'll have to cut it off. Okay. If you insist, no problem. 
I'm fine. I'll call a taxi. Get up, you intoxicated thief, jackass! Get up, you dirt bag! Ash, get off your drunken ass or I'm gonna call the sheriff! Yeah, you shithead drunken ass. You're not such a big deal pushing girls around. Quit playing with us, you fake! Get up before I kick you again. Get up, you fake. I'm gonna kick you some more if you don't get up. Quit jerking us around. Quit jerking us around, you jack. Don't kick him again. He's faking. He just fell. I don't think he's breathing. He's faking. He's not breathing. I don't hear no heartbeat. You better do CPR. I don't know how. You gotta hit him really hard. If you know how to do it, go ahead. This is insane! It's not working. Uh. I don't hear you beating. I don't think it's working. Shit! I'm pretty sure he's dead. You better call 911. Why on earth did you get involved? Because I thought he was hurting you. What if he killed you? He had a knife in his hand. It was his mother's potato masher. It looked like he had a knife to me. Even if he had a knife and he pushed me, it's still none of your business. What about the house burning down? I'm supposed to stay out of your business and let the house go up in flames? I've written him so many nasty, nasty texts and emails, and I've left horrible messages on his phone. I've made tons of threats, sometimes in front of people. It's an accident. No one's gonna believe it. It's always the spouse who does the killing. Why'd you threaten him so much? He's an asshole, but I wasn't gonna kill him. What's for sure he's an asshole? Are you sure you don't wanna call 911? Not if he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's dead. It's gonna start smelling pretty soon. It's hot in here. We're not gonna leave him in here forever. No, I need a few hours to think about this. You go home, just be your normal self. Normal self? What should I do? Go home, sip on tea? Take a nap? Just go home. I don't want your truck here. Be regular. I usually eat, but I'm not that hungry. Well, I don't know how to be regular after you murder someone. Don't say that word. Nobody. Murdered anybody. Okay, we accidentally killed a man. We? Well, you helped a little. I didn't help. It was totally your business. Are you sure you didn't help? It looked like you tripped him. Just leave. Get out of my driveway and out of the neighborhood. I've got to put his car in the garage till I figure out what to do. Okay. Don't you dare tell anybody about this. Okay. Don't even mention it in your prayers. Okay. What are you doing here? You call me. I wanted to talk to you, not visit with you. I can't just sit home, keep us under my hat. Get in here, I don't want people to see us talking.
Did you by chance come in here and get the body? Get the body? It's gone. What happened to it? I wouldn't be asking you if I knew. Since you have a tendency to come into my house without invitation, I was hoping you got the body. You think I got it? Somebody got it. What would I do with the body? You didn't tell anyone, did you? Do you think the cops came? If the cops had found him, we'd be in handcuffs by now. Shish kebab. When they get it. I went to get some sedatives. Wonder why I would need them. I came back and no body. It all happened within an hour. Wonder if your mother got it. She's nuts, but she wouldn't take a body. Maybe the housekeeper got it. Well, what would she do with the body? Well, who? Well, somebody knows, and I'm not going to jail. I'm out of here. I think we need to come clean and tell the cops. No way they'll believe us now. I told you we should have called 911. Remember, it's always the spouse and her accomplice. You mean her boyfriend? Yeah, in some cases, but obviously not this time. It's the gardener. The garden doctor. This is really messing up my life. If you attended to your own business, this wouldn't have happened. You already said all that. I'm leaving town right now. You're leaving town? And my house. What about me? What do you mean, what about you? You're leaving town leaving me here? They'll think I did both of you in. Not my concern. You're the one who knows bumped into my business and killed him. Also tried to save him, but you wouldn't call 911. Poor guy. I cannot believe you're leaving without me. Better start believing. So I just stay and do the jail time. I guess. Don't blab everything that comes through that tiny brain of yours. Take me with you. Take you with me? What a joke. The two of us? Are you proposing a Bonnie and Clyde partnership? I accidentally murdered one man. That didn't make me Clyde. You haven't murdered anyone, you idiot. It was an accident. Remember that forever. What are you thinking? How did I get tangled up with the gardener? Yeah, the gardener you haven't paid. At this moment? That's what pops into your mind? I need some money. Do you have any money? You owe me a lot. You only have what I owe you? Probably have $200 at home in a can. Don't you save any money? I mean, you work two jobs and you have no money? Well, I spend it on stuff. Organic food, I guess. You're one of those people. So if you have a nickel in your pocket, you have to spend it. I told you I have 200 bucks and whatever you owe me. Well, with that kind of money, we'll just move to a villa in Spain. You know, I think I'd like Spain. I think we're kind of alike. Are you kidding? Listen, these are the instructions for you. Go home and get all your money and your clothes. So you're taking me? Just get ready. If I leave you here, we'll both be on the evening news. Sounds like you're just taking me to save your butt. Bingo! You're getting smarter. Just get ready. Maybe I'll snuff out your small life in the desert somewhere. Are you serious? Why not? I've already taken out one idiot. What's one more? Idiot, are you serious? You're not the nice woman I thought you were. Well, you're a lot dumber than I thought you were. How could you ever get an associate's degree? I can show you my diploma. Oh yeah? Bring your diploma. I'm sure that'd be helpful. Leave. I'll pick you up. 30 minutes. Going somewhere, Miss Divine? Leaving town, Ms. Devine? Who wants to know? No, I'm not leaving town. Why would I leave town? I have some things in here that I'm taking to a local charity. I bet you're a very, very generous person. Now, who are you? My name is Angelina. I'm an attorney. Oh my God, I should have known. There's Tim Angel, and now Angelina, and then there's Ash the Ass. Tim Angel, Angelina, and Ms. Devine. We are all three heavenly creatures. Yeah, sure. Listen, I'm already late. I've got to go. You have a great day. You're in a big hurry. Can't the charity wait just a few minutes? I have an appointment. If you really took the time to know me, I bet we would be great friends. Yeah, I'm sure you're probably right. Maybe we can chit-chat some other time. I'm a woman. I understand your situation. I think you'll see that this agreement is more than fair for both of you. Okay, sure. I'll take it and read it over tonight. Thank you so much. Well, let's sit down just for a few minutes and read it together. I can answer all your questions, and then you can sign it. Like I said, I really, really have to get over to the charity. And a simple signature can end this whole horrible relationship forever. I'll get back with you. You have a great day. I'm sure the charity can wait just a few extra moments. Not this charity. They insisted that I'd be right on time. What charity is it? Oh, it's a... 
It's a cat charity. Cat charity? Yes, I love cats. Good day and say hi to Ash. No. What's in that can? It's money. How much? I don't know. It's at least half full of coins, and most of them are quarters. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. What did you do? Rob your piggy bank? It's loose change. I've been throwing in there for years. Probably two or $300 in there. Okay, so we're going to pay for the first hotel with your pennies and nickels? What the hell? We murdered a man. So why not rob a few convenience stores? We don't have anything to lose. So life in prison will get the electric chair. That's worried about dying with cancer. Now I'm gonna die in a gunfight. I think you need to let me out. You want me to stop right here? I'm not gonna use it. In fact, I've never even shot it. Where we going? Far, very far from Tucson. Where are we? Who cares? What would it be like to be in jail? I'm not going to find out. So we're going to just keep running and running? One day, I'm enjoying my house, and the next day, I'm running from the law. I know, I can't believe it either. I got a message. Thomas, where the hell are you? We want to know if you saw him. Who's that? It's one of the boys. What do you mean by that? Well, it's just the way the boys talk. I don't think they know anything about the murder. I sure wish I could sleep. You've been driving for hours. Let me drive some. In your dreams. I've never been in an accident in my life. I never even got a parking ticket. Ask anybody. Your excellent gardening skills got us into this gigantic mess. What's it going to hurt for me just to drive a little bit? Thanks. You have nothing to whistle about. I know, I'm just trying to make us feel better. It doesn't help a bit. I could really enjoy this trip if it weren't for the murder. Why do you keep using that word? Well, you've been using it. See, I'm a great driver. <sighs> right behind us. Don't do anything stupid. You can relax. No reason for him to stop us. <coughs> what if we make your noise siren? What do we do? What do you think we do? Pull over, idiot. I don't know why he's pulling us over. I didn't do nothing. Stop us for? We didn't do nothing. License and registration, please. This is a rental. Let me see your rental agreement. Don't just sit there, give him your license and the rental agreement. Did you realize that you ran a stop sign about a mile back? I think you must be mistaken. I never had a traffic violation in my life. We didn't come to a full stop at the last intersection. I'm pretty sure I did. Shut up. Do not argue with the police officer. I saw you run that stop sign. You always respect the police officer. So you agree with him? Give him those papers. Arizona, what are you two doing this far from home? Just... We're on vacation. Yeah, we're on our honeymoon. <laughs> are you insane? Excuse me? It's true. 
It's a honeymoon. Please don't spoil our honeymoon. I never had a ticket in my life. But there's a first time for everything. Do not argue with him, idiot. I'm not an idiot. Yes, you are. This is our first argument since we got married. You know, listen to you two, I might want to suggest that you seek some marriage counseling, you know, to get the marriage off on the right foot. Well, I'm proof that it helps. Ah, so it helps save your marriage. No, we still got a divorce, but we both felt better about it after the divorce. Oh, okay, thanks. We'll give it a shot, won't we, honey? Is it okay if we go now? Just a minute. I'm still gonna have to cite you for the stop sign. I can't believe you're giving me a ticket. Shut up! You're arguing with the police officer. Is there any semblance of a brain in that thick skull of yours? I'm almost positive I stopped at that stop sign. We don't want any part of the police. Do you read me? Okay, okay, I got it. I still believe I stopped. Do you want to challenge the charge in the court? And besides the stop sign, Mr. Thomas, what do you know about the murder of Mr. Ash Devine? I'm not going to challenge it in court, but I still believe I'm not guilty. Pull over right now. I'm driving. Okay. Did he give you the key to another room? If there's enough, he'll bring another key. He's still counting. If there's enough? You're not sleeping in this room regardless. There'll be plenty. Hi. May I come in? You're not a cop, are you? Are you worried about cops? No. I'm not a cop. I'm Chip Carmichael, the hotel manager. Sorry to bother you, but your payment method is just a little unusual here at Catalina. What are you talking about? You pay for this room with a can of coins and half for pennies. Pennies is money, isn't it? Sure. But I only have one desk clerk after nine. And she doesn't have the extra time to count all of that change. The rest of our stay will be in bills. You have the key to the other room? Sorry, ma'am, but there was barely enough for this room. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Where's my change? There was only a couple extra dollars that you can pick up at checkout. Good evening. You know you have to get your own room. I need all my cash, and several hundred dollars is missing. Your mom took a lot of money out of your purse when you left the room. Well, that's great. Now, thanks for the scoop, Mr. Peeper. Now, I need some privacy. You can't put my room on your credit. It's traceable. So you paid cash for the rental car? All they know is I have a rental car. They don't know where I am, and you almost got us in trouble with the cops today. That's the first time I ever got pulled over. My record is spotless, except for the murder. God, he's dead. I can't believe we killed a man. I haven't slept since we did it. There you go using we again. God, I hate to say this, but I'm glad it's him, not me. Is this going to interfere with our relationship? What relationship? You mean our running from the law relationship? Well, I thought you liked me. You know, you never did accept my friend request. Is that tea? Liked you? What a joke. I lost my whole life because of you. You need to pay me the money you owe me. I said you'd get paid when you're finished. You never finished. Almost finished. I did a lot of work. I didn't ask for anything from you but to clean up my yard, and what do you do? You become my savior, entangled in my life forever. Well, I was trying to help you. Your help created a catastrophe. What were you doing looking in my windows every you night? You kept putting on a show. A show? What the hell are you talking about? You kept dancing, undressing, everything else with the blinds open. You must like me a lot. You think I did that for you? And the boys, they think you really like me too. You've lost your mind. What woman takes off her clothes with the blinds open? Certainly not for you. What a joke. You still owe me the money. So you can rip me off and not let me stay in this room with you? I guess I have to sleep on the streets. I guess. Just keep your mouth shut. Get in here.
Are you already up? I thought you said you couldn't sleep. I guess I must have fallen asleep for a few minutes. I can verify that you fell asleep. It was a lot more than a few minutes. I have never heard such a racket all night long. So you didn't sleep? I was thinking of being on the run with the homeless man while the windows rattled. Now I see your face first thing in the morning and suddenly I have a very sharp anal pain. I'm stressed out of my mind. I can't believe I forgot my vitamins. I need some green tea. If you go to prison, you can just forget green tea and vitamins. I still can't believe we did this. Have you seen my phone? It's right there on the floor. Hi, um, I need to apologize for the other night. I was obvi obviously uh, inebriated. And I had at least a bottle and a half of wine. And I must have passed out and fell when I was leaving. And thank goodness I was knocked out. I could have killed somebody driving like that and in that kind of shape. I mean, gosh. Um, I don't remember much after that first bottle. The doctor said that I had a closed head injury. Or or bruise, brain, something, probably will never recover from that memory. Anyway, what the hell? Um, my stomach and chest looks like someone beat the hell out of me. Gosh. Um, thanks what for covering hell? me up and uh, keeping me warm. I can't believe he's not uh, Why did you throw all those pills on me? Uh, I must have been uh, out the whole day. This little shit's a lie. Are you sure that was him? Definitely him. I'd never forget that voice. He's very alive. Unless he's calling from heaven. In his case, hell, we didn't kill him. <laughs> no problem solved, just like that. Be more thankful for what we have. A house is nothing compared to freedom. I didn't appreciate my freedom either. Yesterday we had lost absolutely everything. And now, suddenly, we have it all back. Cool. See that marsh over there? Yeah, I see it. Let's get some burgers, fries, and drink some wine. Cool. Extremely cool. I haven't had a burger in years. We enjoy simple things in life, like that marsh. Yeah, the marsh sounds good to me. Celebration time. And if we drink too much wine, we can walk back feeling fine. Cool. I'll not be causing you any more problems, and uh, I'll give you... Two hamburgers and two french fries. Hi. I hope I wasn't too offensive, and also if you get a call from Snitzy, forget it. This feels like a date. Don't get carried away. To me, it feels like a date. Let me define this little rendezvous. It's two semi-friends. Let me emphasize semi. Celebrating no longer being fugitives from the law, okay? You said you might go out sometime after your divorce. I meant to do it. What? The shows in front of the window were on purpose. I thought so, you rascal. Why'd you do it? When a woman's life starts crumbling, 
She becomes insecure. Well, they were really great shows. You didn't see anything. Did you? Not much. Just wet shoulders and stuff. Never in my life could I have imagined this past week. With my gardener, who was just a name on the internet. In some ways, it's been a great week. I think we should keep traveling. Work a little here, move to the next town, work a little there. That's why you don't drink much wine, isn't it? You become mentally drained. It's not just the wine. But the idea sounds really, really significant. I mean, I'm significantly buzzed. But the idea sounds really, really ridiculous. Oh, yeah! started this trip. I think you're lucky just to be on this boat. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll give you the house and all the money in the account. No more fighting about that. Bye. Thanks for buying me this shirt. You're welcome. Just don't cut the sleeves, please. Okay. You bought me a gift. So? So we're still just friends. I guess we must be friends. Get a man and a woman travel together and still just be friends. They sure as hell can. You know, I was thinking. Now you're scaring me. So what's your great idea? Okay. We get a job on this boat. We keep going from country to country to country and keep having these adventures. It'd be like we're young, working and traveling and working and traveling. Oh my God. This week's been the most exciting week in my whole life. Hamburgers, french fries, wine, running from the law, dancing lady in front of the window, walking in on a lady taking a bath. Hey. You know, if we're working on this boat, there's no telling what we could get into. Very, very scary. That 100% bitch. What? I can't let this bother me. Let's have some fun. Cool. It's party time. Let's have some fun. <laughs> <laughs>